Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be venturing out into central London and I'm going to split this video into two parts. This one is going to be all about what it's like to shop in central London. I've not actually been in there since March and I'm going to cover spots such as Oxford Street, Regent Street, Selfridges from outside, Covent Garden, Seven Dials and also little spots along the way as well to show you what it is like on the ground. I know that from my last video a lot of you are looking to either study or work in London and look to move here in the future so I thought I would show you what it's like here currently as of July the 24th and speaking of July the 24th it's actually mandatory for those in England to be wearing face masks and face covering indoors and that includes shopping centres, shops, post office and the bank and I am really intrigued so I thought I would as responsibly as possible show you what it is like in central London. I hope we are all continuing to stay responsible, to be respectful and considerate of those around us by wearing the mask and following all of the guidelines. Everywhere is different so what I'm saying is based on my personal experience and also what the updated guidelines are as of today in London and in England. I'm going to be making a second video all about what it is like to dine in central London and I'm going to be visiting China Chinatown for the first time since March. So if you enjoyed this one and you're looking forward to that one, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it to help support the channel. Okay, let's go. Face masks and hand sanitizers at the ready. This one is actually really nice as well. Strawberry laces. <laughs> have my mask under here because I'm trying to not you know keep taking it off and putting my bag and putting it on again. Also it means I do a fantastic job of shaping my face. I shouldn't have put on contour powder on my face when this would have done but off the bat I'm not wearing a mask when I'm not close to anyone or with like a crowd of busy people as soon as there is even outside I've put my mask back on. I'm still not going to go on public transport so I can't comment on what it's like on the tube or the bus or things like that. I'm going to try and only walk everywhere I can and to stretch the legs, you know? As we're getting into central London, there's more people on the street and there's a lot more cars as well. It is about lunchtime on a Friday. A lot of traffic on the roads, but a lot of people wearing masks out on the streets. Now in the middle of Oxford Street heading towards Topshop, people are very very socially distanced apart and a lot of the retail shops are open but a lot of restaurants and cafes and coffee shops um, aren't open especially when you come further out of Oxford Street. There's also hand sanitizing stations outside, they've got posters on every shop window about all of the different security measures. There's a hand sanitizing station here. So it's very, very well signposted on, you know, the guidelines, the regulations and things. And I expect that it gets updated with every new guideline that has been introduced. But so far there is a lot of, you know, this two meter distance over in Uniqlo. Oh, not missed that sound of the bus. This is a Friday. It is very, very empty and it feels so strange. Like it feels like I'm walking here at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. before everything's open. But a lot of places are shut, like this one. I think it was a shoe store. Was this a shoe store? And it's completely cleared of stock. I'm not sure whether they did that pre-lockdown, but very empty right now. I'm just outside Selfridges now, and they have two bits that are of queuing and sanitizing stations, and they've got staff manning the doors before you go in, because obviously face masks are mandatory. It doesn't seem to be super busy right now, but there are also masks at the door to hand to customers, I believe.
walked from a really nice shop. Yeah, now walking down Carnaby Street and it is pretty much empty, especially because it's one of like the busiest streets and Regent Street as well. There's security personnel manning the shops and Apple Store is the only one where I saw people actually taking temperatures of customers before going inside, but it is the only store that I've seen so far that has done that. And they are also having limited capacity in terms of the amount of people they're in. So they have like the clicker to kind of register how many people are going in through the doors. And I'm guessing they just stop people until more people are coming out. So everything inside is pretty much spacious, but I still don't really want to go inside loads of stores for the sake of it especially if I'm not going in there to buy anything right now Carnaby Street is pretty empty there are also tables outside as well where people can sit outside I think it's new yeah please use these tables for food only so people can sit outside and eat as opposed to eating inside I've never seen um, a mask vending machine before these are the different styles that you can get black one you can get a patterned one you can get a leopard print one and it's all contactless so you just tap it on your card That was Kingly Court in Carnaby Street and the tables right in the middle in the courtyard didn't seem to be two meters apart. People sitting at the tables weren't wearing face masks but I'm assuming that's because they're eating and drinking. This is Poland Street right now and this actually used to be where I work so this is one of the bars that I was in headquarters for, Lucky Voice. Usually on Friday lunchtime it's chock a block full of people but the streets here are empty and it's really strange to walk down here and not be you know dodging people and things especially in Broadway market where there's usually street food markets but like everywhere they've got signs and rules of what to do switching to my vlog camera this is Neil's yard and this is where I actually filmed my home slice video so you've got Neil's yard here well food cafe home slice is here but it's currently closed but I believe Marlebone and Shoreditch just open but this is what it is like. Still a lot of seating tables and things outside. Hairdressers are open here, masked up. Yeah, over here seems like business as usual, except that everyone's wearing masks and being responsible. The theatres aren't open right now, so Matilda's gates are closed, but we are now in Seven Dials. So it's about five, 10 minute walk from uh, Covent Garden. And here you usually find lots of boutiques, like little restaurants and bars, a lot of beauty stores, like higher end stores and things as well. But it's pretty quiet, but shops are still open. Fred Perry is open and they've got those social distancing rules. Pubs aren't open right now. Let me cross the road. Not many people here now, so let's do a walk and talk on what I feel like it is. Well, today going through town, a lot quieter, as I've mentioned like multiple times on this video, a lot quieter compared to how it used to be pre-lockdown. Before even going inside the shop, you already know what kind of rules are going to be taking place, what's expected of you, what regulations are going to be carried out. So all in all, if I was to go like shopping and go in and out of shops and things like that, I would feel very, very safe to about the traffic. There is a lot of traffic though. All of the buses. All in all, I would feel safe shopping, knowing that, you know, temperatures are being taken at certain stores. There are hand sanitizer stations, masks are being worn and people are being respectful. To be honest though, I don't think I'd even go clothes shopping right now. I wouldn't go around touching, you know, clothes and things like that and trying it on. I wouldn't know how that would work, maybe. That's a future video, I don't know. Guys, I haven't been outside in so long, especially walking for this long, that my shoes are probably long. Oh my gosh, you're actually alive, you're not dead. I'm getting blisters from a short walk and that's quite embarrassing. I just put on little plasters, but I'm like, I used to be able to walk so far, but now my shoes are just happy that I'm wearing them properly again, to be honest. I love this part of London. So this is near Exmouth Market. Still got a long, long walk ahead of us, but it's so nice to see all the greenery. Oh, look at these flowers. What are your favorite flowers? Let me know in the comments below. Mine are peonies and sunflowers. And when I see them, they make me smile. Oh, yeah. What? <gasps> Let's go the long way home today so I can show you Exmouth Market down here. Hang on, let's wait for this bike to go. We've got a bunch of restaurants. Usually during the week they have loads of street food stores down here as well. They've got loads of um, really lovely... <gasps> oh, Charlotte! There's a new tea room there. Matcha latte. Oh. Is this Malcha? What's Malcha latte? Is it, did it mean Malcha or is this a cool thing? Tea shop and garden. Oh, we have to go there soon. Harmony and mine and cup and team together connects to the time and eight. <gasps> cool! And it's next to this place. So if you need a garden rake, it's next to there. 
Aww. I'll stop talking. This is what Exmouth Market looks like right now. Gail's, fantastic bakery, really good brunches. Fantastic bread if you love bread. <laughs> Leave me a comment below, let me know what it is like where you are living right now and whether you've actually gone out to the shops right now or into the city centre and if you are thinking of doing so in the future, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell and also give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video which is going to be all about what it is like dining in central London, specifically Chinatown for dim sum. It's been a long, long away to trip. Hope you enjoy this video. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.